Why should I believe Swedenborg? I say don't believe Swedenborg, but I will say believe yourself. And how can you really say that you're taking it seriously whether you believe or not if you won't investigate everything, all the evidence, all the ideas? Mm. And I will put to you that without taking Swedenborg as any kind of figure worthy of reverence or any kind of supernatural, any kind of wise sage, just take the ideas that he has, try them in yourself. Try the idea of looking for heaven and hell in your own mind. Try the idea of pursuing innocence. Look at God through the way he tells you to do it. Forget that Swedenborg even exists. Mm. Sit there with those ideas. Watch the change that happens in you. Watch the leverage that that gives you. Watch the way that it, that it colors the way you see life in the world. And watch what happens to your mood. And watch mm. what happens to your, to your ability to make sense of things. Forget that Swedenborg's even there. Don't take anything. Forget the spiritual experiences if you want. Just take the things you can test in the lab of your own mind. What does it do for you? And mm. then let me know if you feel like you want to go back and trust him more. Woo! <laughs> like sort of an that aggressive... Was good. Uh, no, it was for good. That. But right, because it was good. Just, just having it like let's trust what Swedenborg said because he's Swedenborg. Like I like Swedenborg, but no, you can't just trust him because he's Swedenborg. Well, I love the idea. I love what you said there because, I it, it took me quite a while being around this material before I realized. Oh wait, there's like a test version. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like there's something you can do. There's stuff you can try. Yeah, you can experiment with prayer and see whether it's answered or not. Yeah. You know, there, there are things that you can try. You can try, oh, I'll have this thought, or I'll try thinking this, or I'll try imagining that this is the case. See how that works out for me. And I, I do find that very appealing because like the guy with the wig who lived centuries ago, like, it, what does it matter? And it's a kind of claim that's very hard to, well, how do I know? I wasn't yeah. there. The Stockholm I, Fire, I, I don't see know. It. I yeah. don't know, I wasn't there. I never met him, you know, uh, but by putting those things uh, to work, seeing that they help me, seeing that they explain, even the weird things will explain reality or yeah. human. I'll end up in meetings sometimes and I'll think, wait, this is just like that memorable relation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it explains reality to me and that's endeared me uh, to Swedenborg. But you're right, practice first and then you know, faith comes later. What I feel like is the strength of the, the Swedenborg material is that it doesn't re depend on, or there's not a load-bearing column, which is believe in the reverence of Swedenborg. I, it's nice that he was all smart and invented all these things to do mining yeah, with. And, and that you can look him up in Wikipedia, you can find him. Or he is yeah, a real right. guy and that, that he knew how the world worked and all that. But it doesn't, that stuff isn't in my mind when I'm reading Swedenborg. It's not, if there's plenty of people that have great resumes that I don't give their stuff the time of day because I start to read it and I just don't feel like there's anything there. So I love the idea of go, go find out if you like it and some things will hit you in a certain way that the, as certain things have really hit me in a certain way, that gives me sort of this affirmative opening to even the things that I don't necessarily intuitively feel like are amazing right away. Okay, I, you, you have really good, I really liked, you know, the other movies you made, so I'll watch this one all the I'll way through. I'll watch this one, right. And, That's right. And I will say, hanging out, uh, it, I often think about whenever, when I'll have some really good reading session with Swedenborg, where, I'm, where it makes sense, where it feels alive to me, and it's like, this is, I just, it's like I'm seeing this right in front of my face, this is obviously how ah. it works. I will sort of make a note of, okay, so I'm 34 and it's still working for me. Like how long can you be immersed in this stuff before it starts to show its age or fall apart? And so far, it's still alive. Yeah. And, and I, right. you, could, you could say I'm already sold and died in the wood, but I have access to the internet. I'm not living in a gated community. Do you use that interweb thing? I figured it out the other day. Good. All I'm saying is I have access to a lot of competing worldviews. I, I could go, I, I see all the things all the time, but I still find that what ties it together, what makes the most powerful sense to me is the Swedenborg. That's why I go and look like a fool talking about Swedenborg online, because I think it's good. Yeah. Because, because the ideas are good enough to convince me to stick around. Yeah.